but please, if you didn't see anything else on the beach, just report it back and let people know. We'll get the scat teams down, sure like clean up the assessment teams and come down can fly off. and then you know, assess that, quantify yeah. it, and then get some guys down to work out the best response strategy so it doesn't get remobilised and then move somewhere else if we do something. Yeah, so far, the only thing we've really seen on the beach is just going to the camera tower, sea it's all washed up. No, in Gulf Shores it's bad. Like I said, there's little kids swimming in the water and all these people are just laying on the shore all next to up like 50 tar balls and they didn't even know what they were. So we were like picking them up in front of them being like, you see this? This is tar balls. And everyone was like, whatever, I don't care. Like nobody even noticed or cared that it was there. Pretty crazy. And we saw on uh, the newspaper yesterday, the Southern Louisiana newspaper, uh, it said that there's this bacteria in the ocean that's eating the oil to the point where it's gone, and uh, they're like telling the public that the oil is gone. Like, the seafood's fine and all this stuff. There, there is a natural background there, the microbes that are naturally present, and they do increase in numbers to try and use the oil as a food source. Yeah, but it's yeah. not. It will speed up the process, hopefully, and that's what I was just saying to your friend here. You know, we try and speed up that process of working with nature to, to help the microbes break it down quickly. So, yeah, so it is a natural product. Okay, so the natural product is more quantities than it's actually present. But, yeah, yeah say that nature has free power. Yeah. It's definitely not all gone, that's for sure. We're working towards it. <laughs> well, in your personal opinion, like, what percentage of the oil would you say is actually cleaned up? I couldn't speculate at all, to be honest. I would say I've only been out here since Saturday and uh, put figures into it. It's uh, uh, not only possible for me, but... Okay. We're just wondering, um, what exactly are you guys doing right here? Okay. So it's a sand washing operation. So we take the sand that's cool. been... We're going to have to scoop it. Okay, sorry. Sorry. The sand that's been soiled, like oil. And run through the cycle, the dirty sand in one end and clean sand up the other. Okay, and what happens to the dirty sand uh, or to the oil once you it's get the it? Oil, separate. Yeah. yeah, they separate the oil off and, uh, and it's disposed of as was the oil for the skimming operations. Okay, they're not, are they trying to reuse the oil and get it back? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, in fact, it goes back to the refinery and any profits that are made off that oil is well. Okay, well that's good. Um, how long has this operation been set up right here? About two months. Two months? Yeah. Is, there, is this the only one or is there one? Really? Why is this the only one here? Prototype or? Uh... Well, it's it's new technology. That's why the iron and all the bugs make sure it works right. Okay. Is this, uh, have you guys seen a lot of contaminated sand come up here? You know, not a whole lot. Just sand big piles out here. Stuff that's dirty. If we get a handful of it, we would know it. We just feel greasy oil. So, but we get a bit of oil off of it. Have you seen any uh, wildlife that's been affected or anything like that? Yeah, the Are you from this area? No. Mm -hmm. you guys got any other questions? Did you ask why this site was chosen yeah. to be here? Yeah. Why this? It's Why is this like the, the site? farther up the coast, down the coast, and out Grand Isle? Yeah. Oh well, well this is Grand Isle. It happens to be here on Grand Isle because it's the center of the island. Zones go from one to fourteen. This is zone seven, so it's in the middle. You bring it to both ends. And that's the reason. Right here. All right. Um, how long does this? How long do you think this is going to be set up and doing this? Well, as long as it takes to get it, get everything clean. Quite some time. Are you the direct supervisor for this? I'm the BP representative, BP project manager. Oh, no stuff. It's crazy. No stuff. Do you uh, believe the speculation that 75% of the oil has been cleaned up? I read it to the news. I can tell you that we, we don't see any more coming ashore. So, right here in this spot? Yeah, uh, on Grand Isle. Which is pretty much ground zero, right? For uh, In the center of ground zero, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, it's gone. Down the coast, Louisiana. How Florida. far away was the um, Deepwater Horizon explosion from here? I was up, uh, I'm going to say 25 miles ish. The current, the current goes 
come that way though. It doesn't come this way, am I right? <laughs> well, you know, the Mississippi affects it. Knows. I know we've been finding tar balls all up and down the coast everywhere we've been. When we were, in, when we were going through Mississippi, the whole, the whole beach along the coast was closed down. But we saw, we did see workers out there cleaning the stuff up, but nothing like this, nothing to this degree. It's mostly just people walking we, around. We really think, people I, mean, uh, it, I mean, I guess this is cool, but you know, on a more massive scale would be something that seems more logical as opposed to having one place, one, I mean, but well, they, they, that's just they, me. They clean oil all up and down the coast, not just here, not just on yeah, but, but I mean, yeah. like, if this is the most efficient means of cleaning it. Well, it's it's one of the means of cleaning it. But yeah. he also said it's a prototype, like there's still... Uh, yeah, but this seems to be like prototype a too. more official way to clean the oil out of the sand instead of like having just regular Joes walking up and down the beach in a vest saying they're cleaning the oil out of the sand and actually being able to do nothing. But you with this heavy equipment and the things that you guys have provided, obviously is a better manner of cleaning the oil out of the sand than somebody just walking out and picking up tar balls. Well, actually this is just taking out tar balls would be as efficient as somebody just going seeing a big tar ball. A big tar ball through this. Yeah, but the oil has like, you know, it's just, it's not just in tar balls. It came up on the shores and sifted itself into the sand. You guys, like I said, being a little bit more efficient. I'm sure if you pick up a bulldozer full of sand and brought it in and dropped down, you have a tar ball that doesn't yeah. set the tar balls out of the Are you finding any tar balls at all? Any kind of like half dollars? Any little marble size. You know, there's been oil seeps in the Gulf for 100,000 years. Not that big, the only bigger. Oh, 10,000 barrels a day, but spread over the whole Gulf. This one's 52,000. Oh, no, no. Trying to minimize what happened here, I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. There's balls on the beaches. Did you work for BP before this, or did you just start working for BP? I worked for BP overseas. They called it the Columbia Hotel. Yeah. All right, well, that's about all I can think of. You got any more questions, Novel? Very good stuff. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks for, uh, Good day. Oh, okay. Okay.